Well, hello everyone and welcome to another interesting math problem. This problem is great since it not only uses useful areas of mathematics, but it is also a good example of problem decomposition, that is, breaking a problem into simpler parts. So let's begin. Here is the problem. 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. Solve for x. Please pause the video and solve. If you do not wish to solve the problem, just write down your approach or what thoughts are running through your mind. I encourage you to do so. Okay, now here is one solution. Let us try to simplify things. Rather than x in three places, let's try to have x in two places. And one way of doing so is dividing both sides by 4 to the power x. This is what we get. Now this first term gives us 1. This second term can be written as 3 by 2 to the power x. And this third term can be written as 3 by 2 to the power 2x. Please make sure that this is clear. That is how we got 2x. Ok, now let's focus on this term here. 3 by 2 to the power x. Let's make it disappear for the moment. And we do so by introducing a new variable, say y. And let y equal to 3 by 2 to the power x. Now using y in the above equation, this is what we get. Now suddenly our problem looks much simpler. And we also have a quadratic equation. Let's move all these elements to one side. We get y square minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's solve for y using the quadratic equation formula. Ok, we have two values. One value is greater than 0 and one less than 0. Now only one value will work in our solution. Can you guess which one and why? The answer in this case is this one, which is greater than 0. But wait, we are not done as yet. We have to calculate x and not y, remember? So we have 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now this can be solved using logarithms. So using logarithms to solve for x, we get x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 by 2 to the base 1.5. Now converting this to natural logarithms, this can be written like so. And using a calculator to solve this, the approximate answer is 1.19. Is this what you got? If not, write down your answer in the comment section. Guys, this problem appeared in a famous competitive exam. I like this problem since it involves quadratic equation, logarithms, and it was very satisfying to solve. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.